Hello and good morning, this is Holly Shields live from Calcone Studios and you're watching The Early Trades. Today the S&P ASX 200 is up, gaining 1.36% and the top performing stocks in this index was Imugene which is up over 12% and Medcash up as well 7.5%. Over the past week, the index has gained 3.65%, but is still down over 10% for the last year-to-date period. Seven of 11 sectors, rather all 11, as a matter of fact, are high today along with the S&P ASX 200 index. And financials is the best performer, gaining 1.63% and 4.8% over the past five days. Now looking at some stocks are making a buzz today in the opening session. Consumer goods distributor Medcash has reported a 5.9% increase in group revenue to $15.2 billion for the full year ending April 30. Underlying a bit, meanwhile, rose 17.7%. And Medcash has declared a final dividend of $0.11 cents per share, bringing a total dividend for the 2022 financial year to $0.21.5 cents a piece, which is an increase of 22.9% on the previous corresponding period. Separately, Medcash also announced that it had signed a long-term lease agreement with the Goodman Group for the construction and leasing of a new wholesale distribution center in Victoria. Shares of Medcash were trading 8.47% higher during the opening session of the ASX. And also in the news, property group Charter Hall Social Infrastructure has 361 independent valuations completed for the period ending June 30, representing a 100% rise in the property portfolio by gross asset value. The valuations resulted in a $101.5 million or 5.6% uplift on the previous book values. The average passing yield on these properties has compressed 20 basis points from 4.9% to 4.7. And shares of Charter Hall were trading 1.59% higher during the opening session of the ASX. And finally, mining company Oz Minerals has lowered its copper production guidance to reflect a soft start to the year and further material handling system and equipment availability issues at the Carapatina project. A more comprehensive operational reset plan is being established to lift production rates in the second half of the year to drive Carapatina towards achieving a revised production guidance range of 55 to 61,000 tons of copper. This is 13% lower than the previous forecast, although Carapatina's longer-term guidance to 2025 is unchanged. And responding to the news, shares of Oz Minerals were trading 2.81% lower during the opening session. Now for a look at some important economic shifts happening around the world. Concerns of a slowdown in economic activity weighed on sentiment in commodity markets last week, overshadowing the ongoing supply-side issues facing the sector. Copper recorded its steepest weekly loss in over a year as the market became increasingly concerned about the slip in demand. The metal, which is an economic bellwether, ended the week down more than 6% as central banks geared up to raise rates further. Zinc also declined despite signs of increasing market tightness and then iron ore futures closed the week as well lower amid signs of weaker demand. Crude oil meanwhile posted its first weekly loss since April amid fears of a global economic slowdown. So that is the pink show we're picking up from. And that is all for now on the early trades. Stay tuned for more on Calcane TV. I'm Holly Shields signing off.